All right, and next up we had some wines from, uh, well, a new producer for me, Marcello Pelleriti. And this is a gentleman from Mendoza. I guess he learned uh, his winemaking skills from the great Michel Roland. And uh, he's part of that Claude de la Siete group and making some pretty good wines. I mean, also into music, obviously, by his website. Unfortunately, the speakers on my computer did not work, so I couldn't, you know, listen to any of his music. But anyways, uh, we started out with a Torrentez, not my favorite thing in the world. As uh, those of you that have watched the show know, there's a few great varietals that I could live without. Torrentez is one of them. But, uh, you know, kind of orange blossoms, perfumey nuance, ginger spice, peach, apple fruits, bit of perfume on the palate there, some nice floral spice, hint of quinine maybe on the finish. But again, you know, Torrentez just not for me. All right, next up, the uh, Malbec from Val de Uco, uh, what most people don't know about Wine from Mendoza is Mendoza is a large area, and uh, there's a lot of, you know, if you say you're going to land in Mendoza and then go here, you could be like, you know, a four-hour drive to get there. You know, it's not like Napa Valley, you know. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go there in August, so I'll tell you all about that when I get back. But uh, this wine had some lovely thick blackberry fruit, notes of uh, black potting soil and dark cocoa. Uh, big and chewy on the tongue with lots of that blackberry jam, concentrated dark spice violet nuance, a little espresso, some tannin showing up on the finish. One of the things I've always been critical about Malbec is uh, they need a little Cabernet blended in them for the structure. But, uh, so, you know, the best structured Malbecs in the world you find in Mendoza because of the elevation, the skins on the varietal get thicker, they believe, and, you know, gives it a little more finish. All right, next up, the Malbec Reserva, also from the Val de Uca. This wine's aged oak for 18 months instead of three. That's the difference between the two wines. When I asked uh, the rep, that's the only thing they could tell me. It could be a selection of the older spines or something like that as well. This wine had a bit of a roasted character to the blackberry and blueberry-like fruit on the nose, a new leather and espresso nuance, also some dark cocoa there. Thick and juicy on the tongue with a good amount of acidity, some fine tannins showing up in this wine. A nice long finish. Did I just say that about a Malbec? Wow. Lovely balanced spice uh, and the nose echoing through the finish there. A really excellent bottle of uh, Malbec. The vines here are 40 years old. One of the things you need for great Malbec is old vines, I believe. All right. Well, next up, the review of our Borgogna event. This has become an annual event here at the Wine Watch. You know there's nothing I love more than old Barolos.